for making it out uh, for today's seminar. Today we're going to have a presentation by um, James Kwok. He's presenting uh, work that's uh, described in one of our thought leadership briefs, uh, which are available outside. And uh, uh, he's going to be talking about digital copywriting infringement in emerging markets, countering piracy through smarter search engine uh, delisting. And uh, James is a, a faculty associate of uh, our Institute for Emerging Market Studies and is an associate professor of business education in the Department of Information Systems, Business Statistics, and Operations at uh, UST. And he's been here since, uh, he was here as an assistant professor in 1997 and then went to Cal State University in Long Beach uh, and then came back here in 2005 uh, and has been doing uh, a lot of research on issues related to digital rights management, watermark techniques, computer security, and hacking. Uh, so these are really uh, hot topics in policy, I think, and information systems. So we're very happy to have James talk to us today. Okay, thank you for coming to my presentations. And um, so I, I can see that. Are you a PhD student? I'm a research assistant. Research assistant, okay. In ISOM? Yes. I don't know you, okay. Well, it's strange because ISOM department, look at the name, it's so long. Actually, the ISOM department has three divisions. I'm in the IS uh, divisions, and there are two other divisions. So probably you work on uh, OM, right? No, statistics. Okay. Um, so, uh, today's topics will be uh, talking about strategies for implementing effective delisting in indexing technical measures against copyright infringements in emergency markets. It's very long name. Okay. So, in order to break it down, okay, so I think the highlight will be delisting te technical measures. So, probably we need to know what was technical measures for corporate protections and uh, how to apply the listing and the indexing techniques. Okay, that will be covering this uh, in my presentations. This is a rundown for my presentations. We start with the background information about the uh, some fundamental concept and also introduce the research questions and uh, what are the questions that we're going to address. And then we come to the uh, data collections and we collect a lot of data and try to come up with some kind of uh, uh, conclusions at the end and after the data analysis. So I believe, okay, people coming to these presentations probably interested in how to download free software, free movie, am I right? Have you, have you ever done any things from the internet? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, in other words, you are infringers or uh, you just download it for fun? Download for fun. Okay, <laughs> everybody will answer this in this way. Okay, have you ever done anything from the internet? For example, searching movie and so on, right? You do, right? So, I think this is a very hot topic, okay? But how to search? I don't think I need to teach you, right? You need to know how to search. but. Different people may use different keywords, different techniques, okay? So if you just basically enter the keywords in uh, uh, Google search engine, you find lots of information. Are they legal or illegal? Can, can you tell based on the results? No, no idea. Actually, I have no idea as well, okay? But whenever you enter something, okay, the keywords that I put down there, okay, you will find lots of links. Okay, that lead you to some kind of resources that you can download the movie and so on. I believe the first one should be illegal, right? You're not supposed to offer the entire movie in the uh, high quality uh, one, okay? And then for people to download for free, I don't think that's possible, okay? So this could be illegal, okay? But anyway, search engine provides you a lot of resources, okay? As an ordinary user, I can download, I can search the information. I, I, I search for the information doesn't mean I will, I will actually infringe the, uh, um, the, the copyright protections because uh, I may not download anything, 
Okay, I just I, I just want to go inside to see whether this is what we want. Okay, so basically, search engine provides you a lot of information, and if you go to one of the link, okay, this is uh, this this website actually enables you to download it. Okay, probably you need to pay for the fees, but not paying to the uh, entertain, entertainment company. You pay for somebody else who pirate the movie and put it up to the website. So, what we're trying to do here is this, okay, to stop this. Okay, this is our angle, our directions. And um, so, the timeline, okay, so uh, we have a lot of infringing activities. Okay, so um, so that that blue color represents the infringing activities, and technical measure will be a way to stop its activities. Okay, so in other words, okay, uh, we can actually stop this kind of infringing activities by setting the start time and end time. Okay, when you start your uh, technical measures, when you stop your technical measures. Okay, so this is the way that we try to uh, uh, describe the situations of the technical measures. And I think this is the best way. Okay, but TATB. Okay, well, why why we have to limit ourselves in a certain uh, uh, um, a particular time windows? Why don't we just apply the technical measures uh, starting from here to the end? But this is not practical. Okay, and um, so this is due to the resources and some other issue as well. Okay, so if we apply the technical measures for for the entire period, so everything's fine. No more infringing activities. Okay, this is the ideal case. Okay, this is the most effective way, but this is not practical. So, what would be the most? Uh, uh, what would the ways that we handle these situations? Okay, and we cannot have infringing activities like this. What that means, okay, the, the frequency okay, is always the same during, within that period of time. Okay, this is not possible. It's like, okay, um, so at that particular time, okay, say for example, 100 infringers downloading the movie, okay, for example. And this next moment will be the same number of infringers carry out this kind of infringing activity. This is not practical, okay? So, in, real, in reality, it should look like this, okay? Uh, well, there will be the peak somehow, okay? There will be a peak. Many people interested in this. So, they go to the internet and download, okay? Search for the uh, information. At certain point, okay, probably most of the infringers, infringers have already got a copy of the movie. Okay, they don't need, they don't, they're not interested in this movie anymore. Okay, so that's why the curve will look like this. Um, that's also depending on whether this is this kind of infringing activities, whether they are online or offline. Okay, offline meaning you buy the pirate CD, okay, in the street, okay, uh, in a shop, okay. Uh, online, okay, you can, uh, this kind of infringing activity could. Uh, could be through the website, um, maybe the Google search engines. Google search engine is a very specific one that we are targeting into this talk, okay? But there are many other infringing activities. Uh, those are online versions, for example, uh, you, uh, like the one that I showed you, okay? You go to a particular website. If you can memorize the URL address, memorize the, the address of the website, then you can go. <coughs> And download the, the illegal movie, okay? And those are the online uh, options. So those things will actually determine the shape of the curve, okay? The anti uh, infringing activities. And also depending on the types of digital contents that we are interested uh, in, in this particular infringing activities. Say, for example, okay, movie, is, I think, is very popular, okay? But uh, it takes a long time to download the entire movie. Is, it, is that true? Did it take a long time? Well, it depends on what kind of techniques you use, okay? BT may be faster. Or BT, I, actually, I don't care. Okay, I just leave it there, okay? The BT program actually will download everything for me. Next day, I can actually come back and see, okay, everything's ready. 
in my hard drive. I can actually watch the movie. Our music is rather short, okay? But there are many of them, okay? There are many songs, okay, available in the internet. People are interested in particular those features. Software, do you download software? Do you buy software, actually? In other words, do you buy software? No, okay? We're honest, okay? Um, but you're taking a risk, okay? If you don't buy software, okay? And there are lots of uh, children there, okay? Problems there, risk there, okay? So you bear this risk, okay? So games will be another digital content, digital books, and so on. So all this kind of digital contents, okay? The in, in, uh, infringement activity could be different, okay? And also, depending on the countries. Well, internet is to be worldwide. How come this is uh, this is uh, uh, a country can actually contribute to this kind of uh, uh, infringing activities? Okay. Well, if as a government, I would like to control people living in Hong Kong to access the internet for those infringing materials, I need to do something. Okay. And we want to focus on the local people. So. Uh, the techniques that I'm going to introduce actually will focus on this as well. Okay, it will be actually uh, focusing on a particular country, and we can replicate the same techniques for other countries as well. So, if emerging market is uh, uh, is a good topic for us to study it's because uh, of many reasons. Okay, we'll cover that where it should. So, when we're going to apply technical measure, as I said, we cannot actually start from here and end here. Okay, that, that, one, that one may not be effective at all because actually, well, we still have somebody actually carry out this kind of infringing activity, but we're limited. Okay, are you going to put resources to, to control this part? I think it would be more uh, meaningful to control this part. Okay, so that's, the, uh, that's what we try to do. Okay, how to determine the windows, when we're going to start, when we're going to end. So the data, the, the infringing activity, how do we know? This is predicted. This is future data. Okay. Um, say for example, so I just uh, have a, a, a company, entertainment company, just released a movie. How can I predict when this kind of infringing activity will go up or down? Okay. No one can predict. Okay. So this is uh, some kind of predictions. And we can see some peak there, okay, at least there are one, two, maybe if you consider this is a peak as well, this we have three, okay. Why, how come we do have peak, uh, peaks in this kind of infringement activity? We will discuss it, where should. So this is based on real data? This real data, this real data. data. Okay. Yeah, this one actually copied from my uh, research paper. Um, explanations, okay, well, we have to go through some kind of estimations to, pre to come up with some, some kind of predictions. And uh, so the technical measures that I would like to address here, there's only the technical measures available. I conduct a uh, um, consultancy works for the government, so at that time we, we cover different kind of technical measures, and this is just one of them, okay? And this one is uh, the listing and the indexing, okay? we will give you a definition question. And another thing is, how can, we, how can we estimate this kind of things, okay? We use the tools called Google Trends. Have, have you ever used Google Trends before? Probably you kind of, no, okay. So this, this will tell you a trend, okay? Say for example, many people use Google, okay? What's the current trend for this particular keywords? Okay, we will show you figures, okay? And so we actually collect data from the Google Trends and then try to come up with this kind of uh, diagram and to come up uh, to predict the infringement activities. So what is the technical, what's the, what's the, the listing, the indexing technical measures? Basically it's the techniques <clears throat> to stop search engines by providing relevant information to the user. Okay, so everybody use search engines, okay? You know that people can stop you from accessing a particular uh, search results, okay? Say for example, I'm an entertainment company, Sony Music. I find that many people actually upload my, my, my uh, products online. They are pirate music, song files, MP3 files. So I want to stop this. What I will do is, I will write a letter, okay, send a request to Google. 
okay, and stop this, okay, uh, and, and uh, uh, I find a loss of indigenous material through your search engines. This is illegal, okay. So I will actually request you to stop this, um, stop you from providing those infringing URL address from the search results. So after that, when you type the uh, uh, corresponding keywords, you would not be able to find those links. Okay, you will not be able to find those URL address. So this is the technical measures. Okay, effective or not? Do you, do you think that's effective? Probably for some experienced uh, uh, user, they find that okay, I don't need the search engines. I can go to the particular website. I can download the movie from there. I've been doing this for many years already. Okay, that will be another technical measure to control that. Okay, and so but this one we focusing on search engines. And um, so many com many entertainment companies doing this because it is cost effective. Okay, just writing a letter, sending requests, but you have to be very specific. What, what are the keywords that you want to control? Okay, from the search results. Okay, you have to be very specific. Say for example, I don't want people to download Avengers. Okay, and with the following keywords, so we have to be very specific and let Google knows what you want to do. Okay, once they approve, they will remove that from their search results. Okay, so this is what we call the listing and the indexing. Okay, and governments also do this. Once again, this is easy, this that is easy to do, right? Um, and so governments and also the entertainment company actually do this very often. And uh, so, governments like USA and UK, they incorporate this into their uh, policy. Okay, SOPA. Okay, this is copyright uh, protection kind of policy. And one third of it, okay, actually covered the listing and the indexing approach. And this is called pra practice for the entertainment company in UK. They follow this. Okay, so that's why people using this, okay, it certainly make a uh, impact to the uh, uh, to the entire society, and why emergence markets, emergence uh, co uh, countries, are uh, because there's less regulations. Uh, what the people there, okay, is getting more and more uh, internet access. Okay, they, they can download things for free. They, they they prefer to download things for free, and there's no controls basically. So that's why. Uh, if we can have a study to look into the emergence market, that would be great to understand the, the privacy uh, issues in those countries. And digital entertainment is booming, okay, particularly in those uh, emergence market. Uh, we have studied this, okay, we find that um, well, movie is number one actually. Okay, movie, uh, as, I said, as I mentioned, I give, I give you the list, right? Movie, music, Games, applications, and uh, software, and so on. And movie is number one. The the loss, the mean, uh, the loss basically is 10.8 billion for movie. Okay, in uh, in 2012. Okay, when compared with music, okay, that certainly uh, have a major impact to the uh, to those countries. Okay, and also to the uh, to the entertainment companies. This is worldwide or for emerging countries. Uh, this is for this is worldwide, worldwide. Okay. And um, okay, let's move on. So, what's the research questions? What we're we trying to do? Okay, understanding, understand. We need to have effective listing, the indexing uh, uh, strategies to reduce the infringements of uh, digital movies. So, <clears throat> I think the key key question is when to apply, when to stop. You cannot request Google to. To do this uh, for the coming years, okay? Could you stop this? Uh, uh, stop people having such a result, okay? For one year, cannot do that, okay? You have to be uh, realistic, okay? Give them a time frame, okay? When you want to launch, stop them. i uh, stop implementing the listing, and when to release this, okay? So people, since then, okay, they can freely search for the information. And it will not affect the benefits of the entertainment company. Same examples. I have a movie, okay? Uh, what, what, why I want to stop this? Because I have a movie in the cinema. I want people to pay for me, right? So if I, if I want to do this, okay, I have to stop 
a search engine by providing such information. So people cannot actually download the pirate movie and watch the movie at home. Okay, they have to go to the cinema. Okay, but after that, okay, I don't care. As an entertainment company, I don't care because I, I earn enough. Okay, and then uh, un un unless I have the DVD release, unless I have another associated uh, material, campaigns, marketing I need to do, then maybe a concern. So, when to apply, that would be the big questions that I would like to answer in today's talk. And once again, okay, these topics will be focusing on movie, okay, and uh, um, emissions market, and also infringement behaviors. So, data collections. Um, so, select the country first, okay, which countries that I, I should study. And there are lots of emergence uh, countries are available, and then, uh, well, we look at the list, okay, look at the list, okay, and there are lots of uh, emerging countries, uh, one by one, and also the piracy rate, okay, and we look at the, this is number one, China, 90%, Russia, 78%, okay, correct or not, it doesn't matter, I just want to look at those names and identify some country that I would like to study. And Thailand, okay, 79%, Hungary, 76%, that the list goes on, okay, but uh, I don't think uh, we'd be interested in those. So I think we would do something on those, these four countries, okay. What well, begin I want to, I want to study these four, but at the end, I'm going to pick these two, okay. Um, it's not because of the language issues, okay? It's because of some other issues. Because, uh, I, uh, as I mentioned, I will use the Google Trends to collect a lot of information. Um, Google Trends information for China search engines may not be very useful, okay? Because people in China, okay, I don't really rely on the Google search engine. I rely on other search engines to do things, okay? So the study may not be... Uh, um, the data collected from uh, for, for the China's markets may not be that great, okay? And uh, these two, okay, we pick these two because they are, uh, the, 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 the numbers are actually high, and, um, and we study those two countries, actually, they use English a lot, okay? That will be actually very good for us to, um, to continue the study. And then we choose movies. Okay, as I said, we're going to focus on movie, but which particular movies? Okay, and we look at the, the box office results. Okay, uh, the worldwide uh, uh, grosses, uh, 2012. This is the list. Okay, those are the top movies in that particular year. Okay, the revenues and so on. And we basically pick this four. Okay. And we, we do have some kind of uh, constraints, okay, on the movies, uh, on the movies that we're going to study. Um, one is they have to be unique. The names must be unique, okay. Like this one is not unique. Uh, Spider Man, but well, there's many different versions of Spider Man, okay. And when user use the search engine to search for Spider Man, what, what are you looking for? Are you looking for the movie, or are you looking for something else, okay? And we have the problems. And so that's why we skip this this one and we skip some others. And um, so we pick these four, uh, five, okay, and we study them. And so here are the names of the movie title. But of course, when we search, we don't usually type the full name, right? We don't usually type the full name because I think uh, one or two keywords will be representative. Um, for, for our searching purposes, so we take these five keywords. Okay, we simplify, we shorten them. But if we shorten them, does it mean they are equivalent or, or, or not? Okay, I think Hunger Games is kind of unique. Okay, so we expect this one will be, uh, we, we have the same result even if we use the full title. Um, Skyfall, okay, actually we use the full names of the movie title. Avengers, I think this is kind of unique. Okay, we also conduct a study, okay, using different terms, okay, using full names or different names, uh, using a short, a short term, short name, okay, are they the same? Um, 
This is the Google Trends results. Okay, we actually tried that with different names. Uh, blue color, red color. Blue color represent the, um, the, the short term, and the red color represent the uh, long names. Okay, so here the result. Red line stays zero. Okay, for the entire period. In other words, no one uses this name for searching. People use the short term. Okay. And I also use the terms download. Do, do you think people will use the terms download for searching illegal movie, pirate movie? Um, yes or no, okay. Uh, most of the time they well, make it easy, download. Okay, but that's not effective. Okay, for those inventions, okay, uh, people would like to search for the pirate movie, they would have to uh, look for special terms. Okay, it could be using free, okay, free movie, I think people like it. I think people will use DBT for download, okay, because this is a huge file, okay. But are they using BT or, or other terms? Okay, we also have uh, some results to show you. Um, okay, so torrents, okay, torrents will be the uh, BT terms, okay, if you know BT, then you, you know that, okay. That would be the key, okay? If I want to download uh, um, the movie using BT, okay, that's the keywords that I should use, okay? So, these two, okay, the only difference is this one with the short names, this one's longer names, okay? Oh, actually, it's the same, okay, except the third, okay? And the result is like this, okay, very similar, okay, very similar. In other words, uh, we can use the short term to represent. Actually, we, we apply this for all five movies. Okay, we see something similar. So that's why we decide to use the uh, shorter names. Okay, and the next things I would like to design is which keywords that I should use. Should I use download? Should I use free, tolerance, and BT? Okay, this is the result. No one used BT. Okay, even we are going to use BT for download, but people know that they, they don't actually search for BT, they search for torrents, okay? And the blue color download, okay? Blue color, the orange color, orange color seems to be very good, okay, it's torrents. Uh, download, blue color, okay? So, which one's best? Okay, I think this one's the best, okay? And download, why, why download is not uh, very good? I think it's quite significant, it's more or less the same. Download means something else as well, okay? Do you think when you, when you search for download, you can search for, you can find some legal movie for download? I think we can, right? Because uh, the entertainment company, they have some kind of trailer, okay? Wow, download Avengers for free, okay? So download Avengers for free, those are the two people we use in the list already. So they could be legal sources, okay? And this is so, not something I want to stop. I want to stop the illegal download, illegal contents. So that's why we eventually cho chose uh, Avengers Powers. This is the countries, okay, Thailand, okay? So Thailand, okay, we, we, uh, we substitute the keywords Okay, and see the trends, okay, uh, again, okay, the uh, torrents actually right here, not as good as the download, but as I said, download could mean the legal content, so that's why we cannot use this one, and eventually we take uh, the torrents and keywords in this case. Uh, Hungary, um, oh, the language, it could be issues, okay, people that actually speak uh, uh, Hungarian, okay, uh, but if we use the English term, would, would that be a matter? Okay, no, because those are the Hollywood uh, movie, okay, and even in the cinema, the, 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 uh, um, the post actually use the English name, okay, so that's why people in Hungary also search by uh, using those English names, okay, so that's why we compare the two graphs, okay, um, they are comparable. So this one is uh, the um, Google Trend, 
Okay, so if you have time after the talk, let you may take a look at the Google Trends, just type Google Trend and you find this graph, and then you can actually enter any keywords. Okay, in our study, we're interested in these keywords, so we just put it in, and then we can actually uh, choose the countries. Okay, the data actually uh, are representing that particular country, this is Hungary. Okay, this is Hungary. Okay, the data people's there. You search for the keywords, adventurous tourists. Okay, the statistic is like this. Okay, so we can assume this is kind of infringing activities. And you can also set the durations. You can also set the durations. Where you want to start? Okay, well, before 2007, no one knows adventures. So I think you can forget about this. Okay, after that, okay, well, actually, uh, well, we have Avengers, uh, probably we have uh, other, uh, uh, the, the, uh, Avengers basically is a series, okay, there will be another movie it's called Avengers and so on, so we may not be able to ignore that, the, 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 uh, the later parts of the data, okay, but I think we should focus on this one. And um, Google Trends, Google Trends actually is, uh, is show you a, uh, I scale data, okay? You, by looking at this peak, okay, you cannot tell how many users actually search for the terms adventurous tourists at that time. You, you don't know the exact number. You can only know that this is 100%, okay, the highest, okay, the relative data, okay, and this is relatively low, okay, that one is high, okay, that occur in uh, May of 2012. So with the uh, Google Trends that we can customize our data okay, for a particular countries and we can also set situations and, uh, and then focus on the peaks. The uh, Google Trends limitations okay, seems to be very useful okay, but there are lots of problems uh, we, we encounter. Okay, uh, not enough documentation to understand how to use the Google Trends. Sometimes you want to customize the data. Uh, is it possible to, 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 to have the daily data? Okay, it seems that it is not possible. Is it possible to have weekly data? We try that many times. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so that's why the try and errors and also the 100% uh, the meaning the, uh, this is a kind of percentage. Okay, relative data, data scale. Okay, so this is the, uh, it seems that every data point in the graph, okay, represent a weekly data. Okay, so that's why we have uh, um, that 100% uh, that period of time. Okay, data analysis. So, having the Google Trends to represent the infringement activities, we would like to know why we have a peak here. Why we have a peak here. Okay? And uh, we compare the data information and, and we compare with the moving uh, related information. We find that, okay, the first peak basically is the local release date. Okay, uh, adventures is worldwide. Okay, um, it, you may see the movie in the cinema on a particular day in Hong Kong. Uh, one month later, you may watch the same movie in another country. So, the peak actually related to the local release date, okay? So that is the date, okay? The second peak that I point out here is about the DVD release date, okay? So, people miss the chance to watch the movie in the cinema, okay? Waiting for the DVD to grow up because DVD quality should be much higher, okay? And a uh, pirate movie actually copied from DVD. Okay, they, they're not going to copy from the cinema. Okay, the quality will be very bad. Okay, so that's why people may be interested in this. Okay, when the DVD release, okay, let us go to the internet and so search for the D DVD quality of the movie. Okay, so that makes sense. And uh, so that's also a local release date. As you know, DVD release, okay, in Hong Kong it could be different from uh, UK, Singapore, and so on. So we look at the uh, local release date. This is the earliest release date, uh, April 11, okay, somewhere here, okay. 
So probably that was the one in uh, US. Okay. So in uh, this one is Thailand. Okay, Thailand people. Okay, we know that uh, the movie been uh, um, is available in, in US. Okay, but we not interested. We cannot go there. Okay, wait until the moment that we see the marketing material, the poster. Okay, now I know the name of the movie is called Avengers. Okay, just use the Google uh, to search for the reference information. This is another one. Okay. It's not always correct, okay? Uh, we, we have two peaks, okay? We assume that the first one is the relate, relating to local release date, the second one is DVD release. Um, so we apply the same principle for other movies, and we figure out that, okay, that may not be correct. The second one, okay, I think this one is a peak, okay? Uh, more people actually interested in the, uh, this, the same movie, okay? Um, at that time, okay, so so some time may not be correct. So we conclude this part of uh, the peak analysis, okay? Many of them match with the, uh, the, the movie release date, okay? These two are not, okay, after, I mean, I mean the peak actually occur after the movie release date. But it's, uh, it's, it's showing some kind of indications, okay? Uh, the movie release date does make a, a, a peak in the Google trend. And this part has been not certain. Some of them match, some of them not. Actually, there are some other reasons okay, that we don't see the second peak or, or something like that. So we put others there. So after the peak analysis, we have another analysis, duration analysis. Okay. What was the time thing? Okay, I know I need to apply the, uh, the, the technical measures at the peak, but for how long? One month, two months, and so on. So we have three approaches. Uh, we applied to the worst month, okay, just one month, that, that particular month, okay. We, we, are, we are going to delete the whole uh, things from the search result, okay, we request Google to do so. The second approach is the worst month together with the previous one and the, uh, the one after. And the next one is we identify the most effective three months to delete. This is the result. Uh, the first approach. This is the first approach. Um, so we add all these numbers together. Okay, remember the, the Google trend we have data points. Okay, the, the top one, the peak will be 100, which is here. Okay, and we add all these numbers together, and, uh, um, and we have uh, that one divided by 406, and we got these numbers. Okay, so we can see how effective it is okay, to delete um, the movie at that particular month. Um, I think it's so. This one is very high, okay. But it is strange. We only have four data points, okay, for this particular particular movie for that particular country. And this is the worst month plus one month before and the one month after, as you can see the yellow color here. Okay, so 15, 51, okay, all together. If we do so, okay, the list of things for three months and 50% of the inventions activity will be removed, okay? And um, so this is really good, okay? Well, this is very high because we only have four, uh, actually we only have four uh, data points. But this one, the data point is actually zero. It, it, it seems like it doesn't contribute to any um, any of this. Okay. Um, so this is the worst month plus one month before and one month after. The three most effective months. Okay. So I think it's somewhere around the peak. Okay. Like this one after the peak, we have two months. This one after the peak, we have two months. And add up all this number together. And they were, uh, uh, well, this one is very high. Ninety percent of infringing activities will be, will be removed from the Google search engines. And monthly data, it seems that it is not the uh, wow. We talk about three months to uh, to delete the search uh, results from Google search engines may not be practical. So we actually study. Uh, we actually make use of weekly data. But the weekly data from the Google search engine is not really uh, uh, available for all movies. Okay.
Okay, so we just we just find two movies uh, 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 for movie A and B, as you can see the movie that I uh, I point out there, and then we apply the three approaches. Okay, and now it's no longer a month; it's a, a, a weekly basis. <coughs> so we apply these three, and we come up with the figures. Okay, so. Uh, the mean is, okay, if we actually apply the list by week, okay, we reduce by 18%, this one 45%, this, this one 46 that one also 53 that's, that's very high, okay, and this one is 45 this one is 45 and if we can actually delist the peak one week, and one, one week before and one week after, we actually decrease by 45, 45%, I think this one is more practical. Okay, only apply the listing measures for three weeks. Yes. So I mean, I had a couple of questions. I mean, what is what is really the cost of time for delisting for longer periods? Just that someone has to keep searching for. Is it that the search engines just have some rules? Yes, search engines have some kind of regulations. Okay, you cannot actually delist everything forever. Okay, so you have to give the reasons. And uh, uh, the entertainment company would like to actually uh, sometimes they need to pro promote the, uh, um, the the content and so on. They they do not want to actually remove a lot of content from the search engines. And then the other um, the other question is people will respond, right? I could respond to the technical enforcement by I mean, once people know that you're going to delist in these windows and they're going to move their search engine search behavior to cannot find the toilet so files and then they probably will go for another search engine or maybe find other means to do the same thing, right? Or they may keep searching until they can, uh, you know... Well, if, uh, uh, if uh, the delisting actually apply for Google, okay, user cannot actually find the reference informations in Google, but I agree with you, okay, they can go for Yahoo, okay, they could go for other search engines. So entertainment, entertainment company may need to do the same thing, file the uh, request to Yahoo, to another search engine to do the same thing to stop it. No, but I mean, if, uh, if I know that it's always going to be, I'm never going to be able to download this stuff because I can't find the sites mm -hmm. for a month, you know, for where we know, then I just wait till the day after and I start searching. Um, yes, I agree, okay, but, but uh, as a movie uh, fans, okay, I, if I see my see the cinema, okay, showing this movie, can I wait for one month, two months, three months? Probably I have to find other source rather than just waiting. Yeah. They, they, well, actually, some uh, inventions, okay, they will actually. Well, I don't need to every time look for the results from the search engine. I can go. Uh, I can actually bookmark some of the links. And every time, uh, if I want to download a movie, I can go there. Okay, I cannot stop that. Okay, uh, because this is just a delisting technical measure. Yes. Yeah, it looks like uh, uh, the number is bad. So, do you know the maximum uh, time rates that Google can help you to things or to index? Um, actually, we don't have the data, we don't have the uh, information. Uh, but I think from the entertainment company, they, they, uh, from the entertainment company point of view, okay, they don't want to do it forever because maybe the second movie will work out. Okay, we should similar uh, similar terms, Avengers one, Avengers two. Okay, they don't want to stop this. Okay, they want to have a limited time frame. And also from the Google perspective, I don't want to actually people come coming to my search and I, they want to see the result. Okay, if this movie is not available, that movie is not available, okay, they will go for other search engines. So they have some kind of uh, uh, decision need to make, okay, to decide when will be the uh, limit, okay. And as I mentioned, this is uh, uh, the USA government actually do this, implement this in their SOFA uh, uh, policy, okay. So the search engine need to cooperate with, uh, with this kind of, uh, implement this kind of policy. Let me continue. Okay. So it seems a longer time, okay, about common sense, okay, if we can make it longer forever, that will be 100 percent But in reality, we don't do this, okay? But this one actually is not really practical. 
the, the, the most effective uh, uh, three weeks, three months, how do we know this is a prediction? Okay, if you look at the, the data here, okay, hey, how can how do we know in advance that the coming two months will be uh, after the peak will be actually very high uh, uh, infringement activities in Google? How do we know? So that that's why the next one, okay, the, the last one actually may not be practical. So I think the conclusion is this, okay, uh, the peak analysis as you show us that uh, the movie release date will be the peak, it will be the first peak. Whether there will be a second peak, actually we don't know. Okay, according to our data, actually DVD release date may not be relevant in the two countries that we studied. Okay, and so that's why we have uh, we removed this one. And the listing duration should be uh, one week before and one week after. Okay, so that will be that will decrease by 45%. But the study I present here actually has lots of limitations, okay, limited to the specific countries. Okay, if you actually would like to study other countries, emergent uh, countries, then we have to repeat the same study, okay, and collect the reference data. And also the trends of the digital contents, digital moving, okay, actually moving, okay, changing, okay. Uh, people don't download, okay, they would like to go for streaming movie. Okay, so the the, uh, the technical uh, the effectiveness of the listing, the, the indexing standard measure may be different. The result could be different, and also depending on the emerging markets. Okay, the results could be slightly different, and um, so that's will be the conclusions for my presentations. <laughs>